Hello, Internet. Today we are doing everything male poet for WordPress. We're going from start to the first send of our very first email campaign. And we're going to do it together. We're going to do it right here together right now. So let's get started. So the first thing you will need is a male poet account and it's free if you don't already have one. So that's great news for all of us. Go to malepoet.com. Check out uh, create an account when you scroll down to pricing. Uh, I want you to select the free plan. There's no point in shelling out money until you know that you're going to stick with something, that you're going to do it, and that it's going to benefit you. So I have already began. I have a WordPress website, and I have MailPoet installed. You're looking for MailPoet version 3. So with MailPoet version 3 installed, here we have it in the administrative backend section of WordPress. Now, first thing you'll notice is that your layout says emails, forms, lists. And you, you might be wondering, well, why does your say lists, emails, forms? And the reason is very simple. When you are creating a form or an email campaign or a new form, during the creation process, it will ask you, which list would you like this email or this form to belong to? Well, if you haven't created a list, you will have to abandon the creation process of your email or your form, go create a list, come back and start over from scratch. That is not good user flow. That is back and forth. It's jarring. It's why is step two and three placed before step one in the hierarchy list of uh, things to do? So. In, in WordPress, I've rounded out a lot of corners and I've smoothed things out. And this is one area in which I've done that for myself. And if you have purchased this uh, specific optimized version of WordPress, then you're benefiting from all of these little fixes as well. So I've placed lists as, as the uh, top item because it's the first thing I want to do. I want to keep things in order. Now, when you install Mail, MailPoet, if you have WooCommerce installed, you will probably see this automatic list created for WooCommerce customers as well as WordPress users. These are default lists that will just exist, but we're going to create our own list. So up next to the Mail Poet badge, we are going to click New List. And a new list, we are going to name this, let's call it uh, Website Subscribers. And we'll give it a description of people who sign up to our newsletters via our website form. When creating a list, all you need is a name and a description. There we go, website subscribers. Let's go back down to MailPoet. Let's create our first email. Let's make this. Now you can choose between welcome emails, newsletters, post notifications, re-engagement emails, and WooCommerce. And when you click, you'll notice that it takes a while for this card to appear and tell you about what it is and what it does. It just, it's not efficient code, but if you go up here to the mail poet badge and you click new email, all those little cards will show up together on the same page and you can read them far more quickly. So what, what are we going to do today? I think we should create a welcome email. Let's welcome our new visitors, our new subscribers. So when do I want to send this welcome email? Well, when someone subscribes to a list. What list? Well, I'd like it to be the website subscribers, the, one, the list we just created. When do I want to send this email? Right away. So let's hit next. This will bring up our ability to check or to look through templates and to uh, pick something that we like. So I'm going to choose welcome emails and I'm just going to, let's go with app welcome. I'm going to select this and I'm going to give the email a name. Actually, once it loads up, you'll see the designer and you'll see off to the right, you have a menu of things that you can add to the uh, to the email itself. When you select an item, all sorts of options uh, will appear on the right side of the page that give you uh, a, the ability to customize or add new content. But we're not going to uh, spend time designing an email. That's not why we're here. So I'm going to call this uh, welcome email. 
number one. So preview text usually displayed underneath the subject line in uh, the inbox. I'll call this uh, a warm welcome from Rick to you. Perfect. I will save this and I will click next. Next will move us to the uh, following setup phase. So here we just want to confirm everything that we have done so far. So when do we send this email? Well, when someone subscribes to a list, what list? Website subscribers. When do we send? Right away. Now, when the, uh, when the customer or the subscriber sees the email from me, who will it say it's from? Well, it'll say it's from Rick Pearson. And what will the email that it comes from be? I'll make this mind creates meaning. And if they were to reply, if the recipient were to reply to the email that I send to them, um, who, who would it say that the email goes to? Well, it would say it, would go, it goes to Rick Pearson and it goes to this email address. Now you'll notice we can save as a draft and close, but we cannot activate our email campaign. This is a little weird, but that's fine. So what I want you to do is just save as close as draft and close. So then scroll back up to the top and you will see your list of emails. So here is uh, welcome email number one. Here are the settings we've set up for it. And under status, I want you to simply toggle this into uh, until it goes to the right and it turns orange. Now it's active. So now we have a list and we have our first email. Let's create a second email that sends an hour later after they sign up. So let's go create a second email. It's also going to be, let's just keep it a second uh, welcome email. Instead of immediately, I'm going to change this to one hour later. This could be three hours later, but we'll make it one hour later. So uh, same settings as before for the others. And we'll go back into an email. I'm going to choose a second template. We'll go with real estate just because I like the photo. I like photos in general. So we'll say um, uh, welcome email number two. Uh, uh, a quick follow-up <laughs> to say hello because we're pushy. We're being pushy. This is way too pushy. Uh, all right, so we'll save this and we'll go next. Uh, we'll confirm everything, we'll make sure it's what we want it to be. Same process, save as draft and close. And now welcome email number two, same thing. We're going to go under status and we're going to toggle the uh, switch from off to the right and orange. And you can see here, it will send an hour later. So now how do we get people onto the list? How do we encourage them to sign up? Well, we need a form to do that. So we're going to uh, come to Mail Poet and Forms. And here's the beautiful thing. We can create a new form from the blue button in the center of the page, or we can go to Mail Poet up to the right, left and choose new form. We get to choose from templates. I like templates because they offer the ability to pick a design that's a great starting point. So you've got pop-ups. We've got slide-ins from the left and the right. We've got fixed bars for the top of a page and the bottom of a page. We've got, uh, um, I'm sorry, uh, forms that will appear at the bottom below all of your content or footers. And then widgets which you can place via short codes and other probably PHP scripts and things like that. So let's go ahead and place a fixed bar. I'm gonna scroll down until I see this right here. Don't miss a beat. I have a dark website, so I'll just go with a darker kind of a thing. In fact, because I have a dark website, it might actually be a great idea to go with a limited time offer template, which is lighter in color. This can always be changed later. I'm gonna select this uh, brighter bar now let's create some settings. So I'm going to call this, I'm going to call this form top bar, uh, subs mail poet subscribe, mail poet, 
call it subscription form. All right, so what list do we want to add subscribers to when they sign up to this? Well, let's uh, put them up to the only list that we have created personally. So that's website subscribers. After they submit this form, where will, what will they see? What will the user see? They can either be shown a message, which you can draft your own message here. Right now it says check your inbox or spam folder to, subs to confirm your subscription. Or you can send them to a page. You might have a special landing page. It could be a store page. It could be a product page. It could be a, an orientation page. Whatever you want to do, whatever your funnel may be. Styles allows you to get in here and uh, change this, the styling, the branding, the look of everything. Form placement is where we want to spend our attention. So we have fixed bar, below pages, pop up, slide in, short code, and other. So this is what we saw before. But you can see that uh, fixed bar has the highlighted orange uh, outline and it has the orange check in the upper right hand corner. And that means this is what we're using. Now we, we can use more than one. We could also have a pop up right there on our page. So you can see that here on one page, we're going to use, we could use this form as both a pop up and a fixed bar. No need to do that. That's ridiculous. Let's just go with the fixed bar. So I'm going to disable the pop up. Now we're not done. What we need to do is set create settings for the fixed bar, which we can do by clicking on this little toggle or this little gear icon in the fixed uh, bar settings. So we have enable, we have whether we want the bar to be positioned at the top or at the bottom of a web page. It's width, whether we want it to be in pixels or percentage and where we want to display. Do we want to display our uh, form on every page? If so, toggle display on every page. If you only want it to appear on specific pages, search for your pages here. So I'm only going to place this on Rick Pearson Creative Generalist, which is my home page. So there we go. And you can also display on all posts or products or on specific uh, categories, specific posts with tags, so forth. Now, because this is at the top of the page, and uh, I'm going to have it animate. You could have it animate up. You could have it fade in. You could have it drop down. I'm going to have it slide down because it's at the top of the page. I think that just might be nice. Display with a, dis a delay of. Right now, it's set to 15 seconds. That means that users will not see this form. It will not appear on the web page until the user has been on the page for 15 seconds. It's a long time. Plus, we're debugging. We're just setting things up. So why not just set this to zero? I'm going to do the same for show form every seven days. This means that if a, if a viewer, if a visitor sees your form, if they interact with it or they simply dismiss it, your website will not show them the form again for another seven days. But we want to see it all the time because we're debugging. So I'm going to save this. Now, you are, if you are using general off-the-shelf WordPress, you're done. If you are using the optimized WordPress that I provided for myself, and if you bought a copy for yourself from my store, then you've got one more thing to do, and that is to make sure that MailPoet, remember, we, we set up MailPoet to run on the homepage. So we need to go into our plugins manager where we delegate, relegate, where plugins are able to run. And here we can see a list of all of our plugins across the top of a uh, row. And here we can see along the left-hand column, we can see all of our pages. So I'm looking for Rick Pearson Creative Generalist. Here's the home icon, letting me know it's the home page. I wanna scroll across until I find MailPoet. So here's MailPoet. It's active on the home page. That means if I were to go to our home page, as I let's do that now, uh, I will open a new incognito window in Chrome. I will go to mindcreatesmedia.com. We should see the form at the top of the page. There it is. Great. Uh, so that means uh, everything is running now. If you were to come in here, 
and I'm going to turn mail poet off so that the JavaScript files, the JS files, and the CSS files, HTML, none of that stuff will be loaded on our home page. The reason why we use this uh, plugin manager is it allows us to only run plugins on the pages where those plugins are providing benefit to us as a website owner and to our users. There's no point in running heavy scripts and heavy CSS, which slow your website down and hurt your SEO and cause a lot of problems. Uh, there's no point in running all of your word, your WooCommerce, which are, is your e-commerce store, on your about page, on your home page, on every page. It's a lot of files. It's a lot of weight. It's a lot of slowdown and friction. So only run plugins on the page where they're necessary. So I only run WooCommerce on my WooCommerce pages. And I only run MailPoet scripts and styles on pages where I actually have a form. So if I have MailPoet turned off, I will save pages and I will come in here. I will close this, we'll do a new uh, incognito. We'll go back to Mind Creates Meaning. We shouldn't see it at all. And there you go. See, there is no top bar whatsoever. And that's because I've told WordPress, hey, make sure you stay on top of this because plugins like to run their code everywhere, indiscriminately. <sighs> that's bad practice. So here I am on Rick Pearson Creative Generalist's homepage, Mail Poets. Perfect. Check mark means that the plugin is activated, uh, activated on that page and uh, absence of a check mark means it is not. So we'll close this and we'll do new incognito and there is our pop-up. So I'm just going to enter a name. Let's, let's just, I'll call myself Rick and I will log in. Let's go with, um, Throw in a test email and I'll just go ahead and get 20% off. Of course, I'm not getting 20% off of anything. It's just a, uh, oh, this is quite nice. MailPoet includes a captcha. This will save you a lot of headache from ever having to deal with unnecessary bots and junk subscri uh, subscriptions. Of course, this page needs some styling and love, but the functionality is here. So we can always style it ourselves. And here is our, uh, the remember on the, the form creation page when we created the, um, the message that they would see? Here it is. Check your inbox or spam folder to confirm your subscription. Again, this page needs to be styled, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open my email and let's see if I've got that, uh, those emails arriving. So first things first, let's jump in here. Okay, so here's the email. Uh, hello, welcome to our newsletter. Please confirm your subscription to our list by clicking the link below. This is a two-factor authorization. This is great. This means that we're keeping bots at bay. We don't need them. We don't want them. Here's a confirmation. We've added you to our email list. You'll hear from us shortly. Let's find out if we will. So I'm going to go back to my email. Did I get anything? I did. Look, here's right off the bat. Here's our welcome email. Wonderful. Beautiful. And in an hour's time, I'll get the second email. That's it. Done. That is Mail Poet from beginning to end, uh, start to finish from subscription to first send. If you would like more information on everything WordPress, if you would like to follow my series and going in depth about everything, in fact, I'll be starting a new series very soon about optimizing WordPress from the ground up. And it'll be a multi-part uh, video series. You'll be able to follow along and do all the work with me. Or you could just save yourself the time and effort if you just want to spend the cash instead. You can buy the same product directly from my store and it's an instant download. But I, I'm also a big fan of this is not proprietary information. 
These are customizations I've made. They're best practices. So I'm not going to hide them. If you want the ease of just accessing them, you can purchase them today. If you want to follow along and take the time and build the skills and acquire the skills yourself, then you stick around because I'll provide it to you at no cost other than the time out of your schedule. So with that said, like this video, subscribe to this channel if you want to boost your business using WordPress in 2022 and in the years to come. I will see you next time. My name is Rick Pearson. I'm a creative generalist and this channel is all about WordPress. I'll see you soon.